Welcome to Shape a Plate Training. What is Plate? Plate is our universal template system for Origin, and this is designed to race tune your Origin for small detailed operation. The idea is you drop plate down on the surface, index it against one or multiple edges or pencil marks, and then just immediately select your file and cut. So there's no more taping, scanning, gridding. You literally just drop down plate, align it exactly where you want it, and begin cutting with Origin. So we're gonna walk you through all the features that make this so efficient. We're gonna walk you through how to set up your files so that you're uh, ready to place it down and start cutting over and over and over. And know you're gonna get that precision you're familiar with with Origin, but just get aligned and cutting as quick as possible. Let's take a look in the box. So you see the box is all recyclable, so we're not producing much waste. And here are all the accessories you'll be needing in a mini sys, including the quick start guide, lots of great diagrams and info here. We'll be going over a lot of this in this video. And then you'll see here, we have the clamps, we have the little adjustable feet, and over here we have the 32 millimeter hole pattern alignment pin. The remainder of this can be recycled. Let's take a look at the features of Plate and go through how they're gonna benefit you. So Plate, it's a template designed for you to rapidly place and get cutting with origin. So marks on your stock, the edge of your stock, all these indexing features get you aligning plate really quickly. Then we need to align the digital file to plate. So the idea is to set up your digital files once and then just keep reusing them. So basically what you do is instead of gridding on the edge of your stock, you can grid once on plate because you've scanned it in and then you go grid, grid, and then there's one more grid point at the top here. It's on the right-hand side of that, by the way. The left-hand side is curved. The right-hand side is the zero point. So that then gets you this point here called out perfectly every time. So once you've gridded that, then you can place files relative to the center of plate. We'll get into some of the other options for gridding later, but the basics of plate, you're good to go then at that point. Let's look at how we do that. So these are called the edge flags, and they work like this. You'll see we're hovering over the edge and they deploy with a nice click and they get us a perfect edge alignment index here. So you'll see now we know exactly where that edge is. Anything we place in here we can do relative to that edge using Origin's digital precision to cut our files. We may want to take that further. So the flags are on both sides so you can do left and right. Same applies. So that's great, we've got one axis aligned perfectly. Now, how do we figure out where we are on the other axis, Y? So we can use what's called the reticle. This deploys with a nice click as well. And you'll notice down here we've got a pencil line. I'm just gonna bring it down and align this to that, keeping sure that my flags are butted up against the edge of this. You leave the flags deployed and then you push the reticle back out of the way and it clicks out of the way. So now we know where we are on this edge because we have our flags indexed up against the stock and then we know the center of our cut window is aligned with this pencil mark. So that could be anywhere along there and we can just keep, you know, say we had a hinge we wanted to do, we could keep moving along, align our center with another pencil mark, cut, continue. One thing to note, keep plate in place. So once you've completed your cut, just confirm the fit is to your liking. So take your hardware, insert it, confirm everything's good, because in this state you can still take another thousandth of an inch off. The traditional origin precision we've come to know and love is readily available there. But once you move plate, you're gonna be optically realigning it. So there's a little hit to your uh, repeatability there. That's not it for the uh, alignment capabilities. We've got one more edge along the bottom here. This one's called the fence. Underneath, there's a little finger push that clips the fence positively into position. And that enables us to then align plate and confidently know where that bottom edge of the stock is. So now I can move left and right, and you'll notice our pencil mark here. If I bring plate up to that pencil mark and just align it exactly where I want it, don't forget to retract the uh, fence. It's easily done from the top, but that protects it should you want to come down and cut below the edge of your stock. Now we are confident the center vertically is aligned to our pencil mark and the bottom is aligned to our fence. And that's always gonna align in the exact same place so you can then have multiple pencil marks and just work your way along a project, cutting, and you'll find it's actually pretty quick, especially for repetitive jobs. This gets things moving really quickly. 
Now you'll notice in my demonstration so far, the reason why we can place plate and begin cutting so quickly is this non-slip surface. So it's pretty dense, although don't go crazy with clamps. We'll get to clamps in a second. The key there is you just drop plate down and you know it's, it's not moving. It's, it's locked in place based on the friction of that non-slip surface. So that enables us to quickly you know, get work done. But if you're in a situation where you need a little bit more certainty, like you really don't want plate to move mid-project, say it's cantilevered out over the edge of something and could get bumped into, that's when we bring in the clamps. So these are custom low-profile clamps. They look very similar to clamps you've probably used, except for this little detail on the end, which slots into these little keyholes and enables you to clamp like so. Try to do it at 90 degrees, like that, or like that, versus 45 degrees. So the key with clamping is just modest amount of pressure. The cap on this is like a non-miring surface, so you're not going to damage your wood, but you don't want to cause a plate to bow. So it's not about, like we're trying to keep this as thin as possible to make it you know, convenient to use. So yeah, don't crank on it until it starts to bow because that will undermine the performance of plate. Lastly, in terms of features worth pointing out, are these side rails here. So this is designed to enable you to customize plate. With all of our releases of hardware and accessories, we like to accompany that with a Shaper Hub project designed for you to customize and basically create and expand upon what we've provided here. So you'll see threaded holes at the top and bottom. There's two of them. These are 15 millimeters apart. And then for the remainder, it alternates unthreaded, threaded, unthreaded, threaded. And each one of these are 25 millimeters apart. So using those, you can get perfect indexing and a flexible attachment of any kind of custom fixture you might want to add to the top or bottom of plate. One example we'll show you a video of is the vertical clamping surface. So that enables you to precisely place hinges on a door that's mounted vertically. But yeah, any custom sort of curved form, whatever you need to index plate to, you can use these holes to get you the perfect alignment every time. Last but not least, in the little details we want to call out, the hole in the center here is the mounting hole. That quickly gets us mounted on a uh, cleat wall or however you want to stow it. This is a quarter inch Delrin dowel. This hole is eight millimeters. So yeah, anything that works for that gets you stowed out of the way on a cleat wall.